So this is a setup with two different validations uh, in OpenDay presenting both of them. One is a more mature V3 mature multiple concept for two airdromes simultaneously where we're focusing on traffic levels from 15,000 up to 45,000 movements per year. The other validation is then less mature, it's only on V2 level, but we're working with three aerodromes simultaneously on that one with the same category of, of airports. The first validation with two aerodromes in combination we, uh, about a year and a half ago, we tested something similar in uh, the Norsim simulator down at Sturup. And uh, that was on a platform that was not industrialized. This one that we have tested on now here at uh, Saab in Växjö is uh, more mature and uh, has a few features that are a little new in comparison to the one that we uh, had down in Norsim. Well, first, as you can see here, we have some, some colored outlines which help you identify the correct airport. Then we got uh, one airport set up on the left and one airport set up on the right side so that you can easily identify them. And the same goes with the strip bay down here. You got one for the left and one for the right airport so you can easily identify each of them and not mix them up. The left and right concept is something that we really believe in, which we have had confirmation by the controllers that it is useful. Then we have some, some overlays in the OTV over there. We got the uh, MET information, we can display the MET report, we can um, yeah, add some outlines to help you identify the runway, and there are also some tracking tools, especially for aircraft in the air, so you can identify moving aircraft more easily and uh, even include some radar labels so that, the, that you can see the, the name of the aircraft at first glance. We have uh, air and ground frequencies. The air frequencies are, are coupled so that when on each airport an, an aircraft is calling, it doesn't uh, result in, in frequency cluttering. And the ground frequencies are divided from one another so that you can just hear which car is calling on which airport and can respond appropriately. The simulated platform that you see here is uh, the, the one that we have been used now in the CISO validations and it's the same platform that goes into the operational system and uh, the interfaces uh, to the operational platform, the controller working position, is the same between the simulator and the operational system uh, which gives the benefit of uh, that we can use the same uh, setup here as we have in the operational system. The results so far, looking at the V3, uh, it has demands on quite high maturity and we are very high on maturity levels. So all the systems are integrated, we, the ATCOs have access to all planning functionality, the uh, uh, flight data information, weather information, everything is integrated. They do really like the, the combination where they have the airports presented side by side and also that we have reduce the, the number of input devices to just two, so they're using a pen for strips and a mouse for the other controls. With these positive um, V3 results we have presented here, next step is to start industrialization and fo followed by a deployment process. It takes quite some years, but we are very confident with the results.